Hi, I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Shorty Skate Series. Today I'm going to break down fakie stance, fakie stalls and fakie air outs. I do go over fakie stalls in my how to stall tutorial, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth and also discuss a few common issues skaters might have. Please note that this video is based on my personal skating experience and may be different from other tutorials. Before attempting this trick, I do recommend you being able to pump, drop in and stall. I have tutorials on all these three skills and I'll add the links below. Fakie stance. Look to stagger your feet with your leading leg in front. Bend your knees. Keep your chest up and butt down. Open your hips towards your back foot. Turn your shoulders and look behind you. Having good fakie stance was a game changer for me. The main thing that clicked was turning my hips and shoulders to look backwards and not just my head. Also, thinking about my body axis and keeping my chest upright and not leaning forwards when skating backwards helped me a lot too. If you're having trouble keeping your fakie stance, hold your hands by your back hip and it will help you keep your shoulders turned. Pumping fakie. When I skate backwards or fakie, I need to look in the direction I'm going, otherwise my brain freaks out. So when pumping fakie, I will continue to look behind me until I hit the apex of my pump, and then I will look in front as I start to move forwards. If I don't look behind me, I can't see where the bottom of the ramp will start to curve. My feet will move up the transition before I can adjust my axis, making my chest dip down. This is why when I skate fakie, I like to look behind me, so I can adjust my body axis as I go up the curve. You want to keep your body axis perpendicular to the curve you are skating. Fakey stall. A fakey stall is a super useful trick to know, but it can be scary to practice. First, you need to have enough momentum to fakey stall. If you are practicing on a mini ramp or half pipe and can front side stall on the other side, then you should have enough momentum to fakey stall with minimal pumping. If not, you'll need to pump harder to get your body onto the coping. Second, I find spotting the coping and watching my feet lock onto the coping is key when doing my fakie stalls. I will look behind me at the transition as I skate towards it. As I travel up the transition, I will look at the coping just next to where my feet will land. As my skates are about to touch the coping, I will shift my focus and turn my head slightly to watch my back foot lock onto the coping, followed by my front foot. Only once both feet are locked on do I look forwards again. A good way to start practicing a fakie stall is by pumping in a mini ramp or half pipe and then work on getting higher and higher towards the coping. Step 1. Pump into the transition and roll your back foot over the coping by lifting the back wheels of your skate. You want to keep your knees bent, chest up and spot as your skate touches the coping. This gets you comfortable with the feeling of rolling your wheels over the coping. Step 2. Pump harder into the transition and roll your back skate onto the coping, followed by your front skate, both times lifting your back wheels so you don't run them into the coping and end up falling. At first this move will be a quick tap tap. Step 3. Now with more momentum, or think about stalling on the opposite side, you want to roll both feet onto the coping like step 2, but once both skates lock onto the coping, look to push your hips back towards the deck. You want to pivot your hips over the coping using your skates as the pivot point. The idea is to direct your momentum from continuing up the ramp to over the deck. This step can take some time to get used to the pivot motion, so think about transferring your weight into your heels. This will also make your back wheels touch the deck for a longer stall. Final step. All you need to do now is straighten your legs once your weight is in your heels. You can start by doing it in separate steps, but once you get more confident, you can smooth it out into one fluid motion by pushing your hips back at the same time as lifting your chest. Problem number one, straight legs. Having your legs straight can make fakie stalling more difficult, as you're essentially pushing your body away from the coping and it makes it harder to pivot your body. Try keeping your knees bent through the whole movement, as it allows you to adjust your body weight when lifting your heels onto the coping. Problem number two, chest down. Having your chest down as you travel up the transition may cause you to overshoot the coping and unable to lock on. This is because your axis is too far forward when you look to lift your heels and you will tip yourself forward. I also find that if I'm not looking behind me, you will exaggerate this problem. So try keeping good fakie stance with your chest up. Focus on your body axis and pivoting your hips. 
fakey air out. To fakey stall, you can front side stall with minimal pump. To fakey air out, you still need to front side stall, but to gain enough momentum to fakey air, you'll need to pump hard down the first transition and hard up the second transition. Since you are going backwards, you need to push through your toes to pump. Once you have the momentum, the air out will come naturally as it will shoot you past the coping. The trick is not to push off the ramp, but ride it up and out. As your back foot is about to reach the coping, lift your heels and tuck your knees. You want to pivot your body axis to land with your chest up as you pop out of the ramp. If you keep your chest down, you may stumble forwards. I hope you were able to take a couple things away from this video that will help you with your fakie tricks. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also tag me on Instagram shortstop.6 as I'd love to see your progress. Thank you for watching and please like and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.